So just a note regarding the battalion article that's appearing on statistical significance. So uh, as some background for that article, uh, let me just first define what a null hypothesis is and an alternative hypothesis. Often when uh, scientists do experiments, what they're trying to do is they're trying to establish an effect that exists. And so what they'll do is they'll assume a null hypothesis that there is no effect, and then they try to collect data uh, so that they can reject that null hypothesis and then declare that they've made a new discovery. The way they reject a null hypothesis based on data is they choose a test statistic, and if uh, the probability of seeing that test statistic or something more extreme than that test statistic based on the data is less than 0 0.05, they reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the effect they were looking for is real. What we found is that uh, when the p-value is 0 0.05, uh, that often doesn't really represent much evidence against the null hypothesis. And the reason for that is the p-value really is the probability of seeing a test statistic more extreme than the test statistic that you observed. It's not the probability that the null hypothesis is true. And a lot of people will interpret a p-value to be the probability that the null hypothesis is true. Uh, so uh, when we've looked at this problem, we've, uh, in a little more detail, we found that um, if we change the significance threshold to 0 0.005 uh, and then only declare significance when the p-value is less than 0 0.005, it turns out that in those cases, the probability that the null hypothesis is true is less than about 1 in 10 or 1 in 20. And so that's why we propose to redefine statistical significance to be p-values less than 0 0.005.